Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the live stream. So glad to have you. Hope everyone's week is going well. So grateful that you joined me. Excited to get started tonight. How is everybody? How is everybody? It is very cold here in Little Rock, Arkansas, but I guess it's going across the, the country, the cold weather. Our last, first and last hurrah of winter here in the south. We are gonna, we're getting kind of, well, down in the teens in the, at night, and then um, hopefully in a few weeks, or a few weeks, in the next week, it'll bounce back up into the 40s, so we'll uh, warm up a little bit. Hey there, Lola. So good to see you. Grateful to have you join me as always. If this is your first time on the live stream, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, I started painting about seven, six, seven months ago, and so every week at 7 p.m. Central Time on Saturday evenings, I do this live stream where I paint, I learn a lot, and chat with you all. So no matter where you are joining me from, if you're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, wherever, you can comment in the comments and say hello, ask questions. Um, glad to have you join the live stream. I feel a little bit off. Have you ever... Um, <laughs> Have you ever had the situation where you just eat maybe at a buffet or something, you eat way too much, um, more than you, you know you should stop, but it's so delicious you keep eating? That's kind of the situation I'm in this evening. All day I have been uh, making this corn chowder that I make uh, in the slow cooker, and it was smelled so amazing. It was so cold outside. I was looking so forward to it, and I sat down and ate two big giant bowls right before this live stream and so I'm feeling a little lethargic um, but uh, glad to be with you everybody this evening. All right let's jump in and get started and let me pull up the reference photo. This is what we're going to be painting this evening, the stork, so I'm excited to get started and we will jump right into it. We are back to live wildlife. Last week, um, if you'll remember, we did this painting. Uh, still working on finishing this up, but uh, we did. Uh, uh, we went back to a landscape. Uh, it had been a few weeks since we'd done a landscape, but tonight we are going to jump back to uh, wildlife with the storks. So excited to get this started. I did go ahead and um, do a quick sketch of this on my canvas so it'll help me uh, paint a little faster. You can kind of see the, the main outline. And I am just going to focus on the stork in the front. That's all we're painting tonight. So let's pull y'all in a little closer over my shoulder so you can see what's going on and we will get this party started. Okay, I wonder, before I start, I'm gonna, oh. Hey there, Natasha, so good to see you. I was actually, I'm glad you commented because I was actually just about to say, oh, let me jump over to Facebook and make sure it's streaming, but clearly it's streaming because you saw it. Excellent. No worries about the notes. I wasn't on campus. Uh, we we had remote uh, work during the, the great ice storm of 2021, <laughs> which, <coughs> excuse me, wasn't really a great ice storm. It was a few, a few sleep balls and some, uh, and some flurries, but uh, we were um, doing virtual learning. So wasn't on campus the end of this week. We will definitely make it uh, or make it happen 
in the next week or so, depending how much snow we get this in the next couple of days. Hey, Bob G, I agree. This weather should be against the law. Luckily, we just have to wait a couple days and we'll be back to much better spring weather while the rest of the country is still struggling a bit. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I am thinking that I want to do a background behind this stork. I think I want to do a background that is... What color should I do the background, y'all? I thought I'd get your recommendations. Hey there, Mom and Dad. It was great chatting with you last night. Thanks for popping in. What do you all think the background color should be? I have an idea, but thought I would get your suggestions before I jump in with mine. A warm color to contrast the cold stork colors. All right. Yeah, the only warm stork color we have is kind of in the top of the head, right? So, ooh, Lola. Yeah, the wind chill, I bet, is even lower. It's about, well, it says, my watch says it's 25 degrees here, but it's going to be down in the teens. So, for being this far south, because we're almost parallel with Dallas, so for being this far south... This is pretty cold for us, but I definitely don't. We're getting the we're getting the snow. Uh, they say Monday and Wednesday we may get several inches, but uh, we'll see if it accumulates and how much accumulates. All right. <laughs> I saw that meme too. Yes. Something about hey hey northerners or hey north your your uh, weather is drunk down here come take it back. Uh, green gray color with some blue. All right. So here's the thought: the green gray would or the blue would kind of be cold, um, cold colors, and. Okay, green, gray. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm streaming uh, primarily on YouTube, but also to my personal Facebook and, of course, on Twitch. Thanks so much for stopping by. I love when my Twitch peeps pop in. So glad to have you. Do you stream on Twitch, or are you, is your channel a, a gaming channel? Green, gray in the top right, but more of the pale blue with gray in the left. Okay. So I'm wondering, because I tend to default to blues and kind of blues and greens, because that's kind of what I like, and I do that a lot. But I was wondering, what if we did like a maroon or a burgundy? or a magenta. Awesome. Well, I am so glad to have you. So glad to have you. Thanks for popping in. Always appreciate Twitch. Okay. Magenta. Yeah. But I like, Natasha, I like your idea about... Um, doing kind of a gradient um so let's let's play with this idea of kind of a magenta yeah let's see what we can do let's let's just play around a little bit 
but I like that gradient idea. So let's get started. I'm kind of kind of wasting time. Not wasting time, but all right. Let's see. It will just be uh, the colored background. I'm not going to have any, I'm not going to have like the water like it is in the reference photo. So yeah, we're the goal of one of the things I've been trying to work on recently has been, um, has been to um, work with light. And so I want the stork to be this definite focus. Magenta. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm doing a deep... Um, oh, I wonder... I'll show you what I'll show you all what I'm doing if it turns out. I'm kind of I should have thought all this stuff through ahead of time, but I didn't. So Okay, here's what I'm doing. So I'm mixing a red, purple, burgundy kind of color for the farthest darkest away. So for like down here, and then it'll get lighter as we get up toward the stork. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Let's just get some color on this canvas since it's a it's 11, I think an 11 by 14. It's fairly large canvas. Um, I want it pretty dark on the edges so that all of the light and all the focus goes right in here on the uh, on the face of the of the stork. I should actually use some medium as well. We'll get a coat of this on, and then we'll probably have to come back and do another one. I am doing just the one stork, the one that is right in front. So
been working, not working, but studying lately the importance of drawing. It's not something I have spent any time on because I have, as you all know, no, no professional training. But I think in the coming months, this is something I'm going to spend more time on to develop some drawing skills, which I believe will help my painting skills. Okay, just do some I'm doing all kinds of different crisscross strokes just so we get that kind of texture in the in the background because it makes it more interesting. When we do that. Not a problem. Agreed. That's one of the, yes, I agree. That's one of the reasons, I mean, not one of the reasons, but I started with acrylic just because that's what I had, but eventually I want to explore other, other mediums. I want to try different, different mediums. Eventually, I want to get brave enough to, to try oil painting. I think that would be really cool. Wow, it must really, the air must really be dry in here because this paint is just not spreading. The canvas is just sucking up the paint. Just got to get more then.
Hey Elizabeth, thanks for joining. Cool. I can't wait to see it. You will have to post it once you get it done. I would love to see what you do. I think it's so cool that periodically people will stop in like you have and say they're painting. I hope that someday I can have, as people are learning about the live stream, I hope more and more people will come in and join me and paint either what I'm painting or work on their own project and kind of hang with me. I think that's actually a lot of fun and it's really cool. So, all right, so we have the background roughly in. Ooh, that sounds amazing. You might have to teach me some techniques. I've never done mixed media. Okay, so as you all can see, this is pretty much what we have for the background. It's really rough, just the first, um, the first uh, layer, but that's basically the effect I'm going for because I want the center of focus to be right here in this upper third. And so I want kind of the light, lighter background around this and then the darker on the edges. And then down here, we'll make his, we'll um, make it really dark into his uh, body. So, yeah, Lola, I am liking this color too. Um, I didn't know, like, in my mind's eye I could see it, but now that it's kind of on the canvas, I, I like it. I think better than I would have liked a brown or a generic nondescript background. So that's fun. I definitely appreciate it. I actually enjoy chatting with people, so it it feels natural to me. Sometimes, you know, I'll get quiet as I'm working, but uh, I enjoy visiting with the audience, so it's a lot of fun. And then kind of trying things and having people react and give me feedback, kind of as we had that discussion earlier on the background and debating the different color options and what uh, having different opinions is really actually valuable and helpful. Okay, so let's um, focus. Let me turn this so you can a little more direct on. Hopefully that will help you all to see better. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I think you were right earlier when you said digital, like it's easy to easier to transfer than to digital. That's something I would like to do in the future, actually, is uh, explore some digital um, and learn some digital techniques. There's so much you can do and such really cool stuff. So, all right, the I am going to put in our darkest values then, which are going to be down here in the body of the bird as well as in his beak. Those are going to be our darkest values. So I'm going to start there and lay in some kind of basic blocks of color like we have in the past. I should. Do you do digital art? 
if so, what kind of like what softwares or you know what what kind of uh, software do you use? It's something I'd have to research. I'm not even. I don't even know. I'm trying to mix a really dark color here. I'm taking this burnt umber and uh, ultramarine blue and a little green and trying to get I'm trying to get gray, but it's turning out a blue, so I'm trying to dull it down so that I can get kind of a grayish, deep, dark hue. Takes a little bit of mixing to get there, but we will get there. All right, let's see if we're dark enough. I think we are. I think it'll be all right. And even if it's a little more blue than I'd like, think we'll be okay because it's right against the warmth of that magenta so it will look really nice Again, remember that as we get down in the furthest corners away from the, the focal point of the painting, we'll lose some of the definition of the bird intentionally, because we'll put them in shadow, kind of like we did a little bit with the uh, parrot and the lion a few weeks ago, if you remember those paintings. Krita, Krita, best free digital software. Excellent. I will have to check it out. Always love free or open source for sure. Uh, no, uh, what I was saying, I may have said that, I didn't mean it. What I meant was um, it will look good with right against the magenta. Because I was trying to kind of mix the blue tones out of the, of this gray. But then I realized, you know, if it is blue, even if the blue tones are there, it's not going to hurt anything because it's against that magenta and it will look... It'll look nice anyway. That's what I was trying to say. May not have actually come out that way, but. Yeah. 
Okay. Why are you giving me Bob Ross vibes right now? How is this so soothing? I am glad to see you, Seth. Thanks for popping in. I am glad it's soothing, and I'm glad that I'm giving you Bob Ross vibes. Except I don't have the epic afro. But I'm glad I'm giving you relaxing vibes. And that it's a chill way to spend a little bit of your weekend. Definitely has been a lifesaver for me from the standpoint of relaxation and such. Okay. All right, so right here, y'all, is our, on, on the beak, is our um, darkest, and right up here in the kind of edge of the face are the darkest, our deepest values. So I'm going to just go ahead and put in some of that value there. Again, we're just putting in the none, essentially none of the uh, detail, simply value. That's all we want to see if the values are working for us and the composition works for us. Then that's the... That's what we're going for in this first stage. Can we get the values right? Because if the values aren't right at the beginning, which you all have seen in some of my paintings, it's harder and harder, takes a lot more work in the end. Get it correct. So glad you stopped by. Have a great evening. We'll see you again. Okay. So.
Oh, that's awesome. I am glad it is relaxing. It's definitely relaxing to me. And I don't know what I'm going to do when, like, we can start actually having a normal, well, I should say normal Saturday night. When I have, when I actually have Saturday night plans, I may have to just say I can't make plans Saturday night because that's my live stream night. Of course, once we're busy again, y'all may have to have, uh, y'all may have Saturday night plans too, so kind of We'll have to figure it out as we go, huh? Okay. Initial coverage here. It's amazing to me how much paint it takes to get that first layer down. Just plop some on this edge, that way it wraps around, and then do some more, some of this dark coat down in here. Whoops, I just put my hand into that. Probably ruined what I just did. Okay.
we'll just bring this darkness right up into the cover the body of this bird again drawing or pushing the eye of the viewer up to the main focal point of the painting which will be right here the eye and the head of the of the of the bird we'll just make this pretty dark At least this first layer we can always lighten it up afterwards now what I want to do I think is play around a little bit Again with the values, see what I can. Oh, gross. See what I can do.
Okay, y'all. I am going to step back for a minute from this and take a look at what I have so far. See if I like this. And it's a little bit earlier than normal, but you know what time it is. It's because I used that magenta. The water got really bad early. So, okay, I don't hate this. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I think I do want to, while I'm here, before I go for my water run, I'm going to Ah, thank you, ma'am. I always appreciate your eye on things. All right, this is what we have so far. Again, just very loose blotches of value. So I'm going to run, do this. I'll be right back. Let me put up my GIF for you. And I will be right back in a moment, y'all.
All right, here I am. Clean water, rinsed brushes. Again, this is our darkest value spot. If you look at right there on his beak, the folds of, I said a stork. This is a pelican, not a stork. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I've been calling him a stork. Um, the darkest value is that these folds of skin in his, whatever they call the beak of the pelican. We're going to take a little bit lighter value then and come in with the same tone right here. So I'm taking this dark color on the left hand side right here um, and that's the darkest value I have and then I bring in just a little bit of white on this right hand side and that's what we're bringing in here on the beak. Basically the exact same color we're just lightening it so that it provides some, I don't know whether you'd say contrast.
Thanks, Bob. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of digging it. We'll see how it all comes together in the end, but yeah. I agree.
Thank you. It's getting there. One of the things I have to work on is painting faster. Okay. Ooh, gonna go in and make some strong decisions. So See if I can zoom in a little bit. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it a lot. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Beak locked in. Think we did it. All right, that gives us his beak, or his definition of his mouth. Now, we'll take and put some
Thank you. It's slowly getting where I want it. I want to do a... I think I want to start going in though and... getting precise work on the eye. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was noticing, especially when I looked at uh, what you guys were seeing. Definitely very zombie pelican. Okay, Ooh. now I need to try to
not liking how this eye is showing up, y'all. Have no one to blame but myself. No one to blame but myself. But we'll keep going and figure it out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Little under thirty minutes left to get this going. If y'all haven't stopped by my YouTube channel, I this week started uploading time lapses of these paintings so you can see them once we get done you can see them come together and fast forward it's kind of cool to see how that how that happens you can watch it they're usually about two to three minutes but might be an interesting perspective can see that on my YouTube channel. Just go to the time lapse. I think there's even a playlist. Can't remember if I made a playlist, but I think I did for time lapses so you can check them out. I've only done the last two or three paintings, so but I plan to do that going forward. That way you can Take a look. Okay.
All right. Trying to decide what to do next. So I'm fairly happy with the beak. Fairly happy with the eye. Although.
Thanks so much, Bob. Thanks for stopping by. You stay warm as well. Hopefully your deer stay warm. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. We're going to try to get some of this. Let's see. Could we do a liner brush? Not quite working the way I want, but Oops.
Okay, I need to step back and take a look at this, see if it's what I want it to do. Pardon me. Okay, let me just step back, y'all. Thank you, thank you. I do too. Little by little, okay. Um, yes. Okay, we are about to the end, but I am going to continue working on this because what's missing here and here and even here is some of the detail, like to make it look like individual feathers, but I need to give it a break. I need to give myself and it a break to kind of look at it with new eyes. However, what I'm going to try to... What I'm going to do now is go back one more time before we wrap this up and I'm going to do the background again because I think we're getting where we want it. So I want to go to the background and add another layer. So let's do that. Let's take it as dark as we can. It's a little more blue than I want. Oh, don't want all that red.
we'll catch this edge while we're here give it just so we don't have the white canvas showing Ooh, I don't like that. Thank you so much, Lola. Have a great evening.
Okay. I think I'm fairly happy with how it's turned out. Take a look. You can see the eye and the head, the beak, and a nice background, definite, definitely, uh, I kind of, I hope I don't mess this up. The only part of the background I don't like is this right here. There we go. All right, we'll let it go. I'm not gonna, not going to mess it up. Okay, so there's where we are. I am going to continue working on this in the next week, do some additional feather work, um, try to figure out how to I think it does draw the eye up here, but see if there's something more I can do with the lighting effect to um, draw the attention up up to the um, up to the focal point. But I am not unhappy with how this has turned out. Beautiful animal, and just needs a little more work. I want to thank you all for joining me. I appreciate you um, popping in to say hello and to stick with me. We've gone a little bit over. Again, you can follow on YouTube if you want to see the time lapse. I am going to start putting those up at the first part of the week so you'll be able to see the time lapse of this as far as where we are right now. You see it all come together in about a minute, two minutes um, in a fast forward type video. So um, be sure to follow on YouTube. If you aren't following me on Instagram, you can do at Stephen E. Rice, Stephen with a V, middle initial E, Rice, R-I-C-E, and you can follow the um, kind of progress of different pieces of art that I am doing. I, again, thank you for joining me this evening, and I look forward to seeing you next week at the same time, 7 Central, uh, Saturday evening. Have a great evening and um, we'll see you next time.